Hello. Alright, I got paracord sent to me from a company. That's three different colors. So I'm going to go ahead and make a survival keychain today. Like I told them I was going to. Um Benqua, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, probably not. But there's the name of the company. I will post their link down below in the comments section. So that way you can easily find the spot that I went and got this paracord from. The paracord that they sent is 550 pound paracord. This one that I had ordered from them was a thousand foot. Um, I want to say it was 850 pounds, if not 750 pounds, but I'll post that link too. So I went ahead and chose my colors. I'm going to go ahead and go with the black and the orange because it'll be easier to see with what I'm going to do. I don't know where my blue lighter went, but this one will work. So you're going to go ahead if you, want, if you want to do two colors. You don't have to do two colors. Melt the two ends. Stick the two together. Wait for it to cool, obviously. So it seals up. This stuff does get real hot. So when you're going to touch it, be careful. I don't want you to burn yourself. I'll let that sit there for a minute. Paracord has many different uses. It can be used for shelters. Inside you have your different types of strands. Which I'll show you. Uh, let's go with the green. Or the olive green. Uh, you got different styles of the cordage inside. Some come with line in them that holds up to 200, or 200, yeah, 25 pounds. Sorry. And then you have ones that have the wire in it, which you can make snares out of. Any of that paracord can be used for your shelters camping if you would see my camping video I used paracord to string up one of my hammocks I'm a big fan of paracord I love it whatever you can think of you can use it for I do believe this is seven strand burn each end or melt it Well, that way, your phrase don't, your line and all that don't go all over and get sucked inside, separated, any of that. I have seen people use a piece of Velcro to go around, which is a really great idea. And I'm going to end up doing the same thing. I'm going to keep all your paracord together. But, in the meantime, since I don't have it, I'm just going to make a first tie loop. Just like that. And stick it back in the bag. stuff comes undone 
It's a pain in the butt to gather back up. Alright, well, there's those. This one looks like it might be seven strand paracord. I'll take it out and show you anyways. So, obviously there's three strands right there that I just dropped. Four, five, six, and seven. So this is a seven strand paracord. Oh, it's 850 pounds for this one. I'm going to be making a dog collar for my beast. He is bull mastiff and English bulldog, so he's huge. I was kind of surprised that uh, he's laying down next to my foot. Usually he's up running around. And you can see the difference in thickness between the two. I had to seal this one off. This is the one that I used on my boots for my laces. That's holding up real well. I was very impressed with that. I have to say, those are now my favorite shoelaces. So, let's see how many strands this one's got in it. 350 foot. You can make a fishing lure out of paracord, too. Which, when I go fishing, I'll show you guys that. Because I already plan on doing that. Alright, get it apart. Just because I cut it so darn short. And they got one, two, three, four, five. Two, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like eleven strands in that paracord. That off there. I don't need that on there. This part I'm going to show you how to make a survival keychain. So you're going to grab this end that you melted together for every inch of keychain, collar, bracelet, any of that. For every inch, you want a foot. So if you have an eight inch wrist, you are going to want eight foot of paracord. My dog is at 24 inches for his neck size right now, which is only a year old. You're gonna want 24 foot. I'll show you my beast. Get that out. So you're going to go ahead, feed this line through the top. So you get this. And you're going to pull it tight. Just like that. All right. Now there's your first section. I'm going to take another ring. I'm going to feed the paracord through that. Okay, this is where you are going to figure out how long you want it. 
All right, so our survival straw, or survival kit, survival straw, whatever you prefer, has fishing line in it, sinkers, and about three or four hooks in this. So you want to be able to start it, at least start it right about in here. And cover that up. So I'm going to say I want it about here. Which looks to be eh, maybe six inches or so. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. Oh, whatever side you start with, whatever color you start with, is the one that you're going to continue using. Try to keep that separated a little bit. Take your black over the top. Make sure when you do it, your ring stays above and in that loop. Okay? It's very important. Your, your orange is going to go over the top of your black. For this portion, you're going to feed that orange right through the top, back of it. Make sure it comes out before your orange through that black loop. Make sure it's pulled tight. Just like that. So we started with our black. We're going to continue with our black. We're going to go over the top of these two. Right here. This is going to, the orange is going to go over the top of the black. Okay. This orange piece, since it's sitting here on top, is going to get put through underneath all these cords and through the black. And pull tight. Looks like I need to remelt that because it's coming apart. You can use a solid color. I'm only doing this for demonstration so you guys can see it easier. What I'm doing. Because it's a lot easier to see two colors than it is one. I've got black stuff on my bar or table now. Melted plastic on the table. Make sure your pieces stay straight. These center pieces here, make sure those stay straight. It's going to make a world of load of difference. So, continue with your black. Orange over top. Orange through the bottom. Under all of it. And through the black. Okay. Just like that. 
you continue to do this. until you're completely done. I did not put this in here. And I can't find it. So when I do find it, when I do find this and the one that I did for practice, I will show you why I didn't do it. So we're getting down here at the end. We're going to continue. Get as close as you can. To the end. Over top. Under and through. Get as close to that key ring as you possibly can. The closer you get, the more pain in the butt it is. But... It just gives you that much more extra paracord in a survival situation. On top. <coughs> On the bottom. And there's your keychain. Now you can take this, if you had a lot of extra, you could make a ball. Wind it up however you prefer and leave the excess. Since I don't have that much, I'm not going to bother. So make sure it's pulled nice and tight. Before you cut it. You're going to cut it up there. Now a little bit shorter because you're going to melt this now. Darn kitchen shoes. There we are. Good enough. Not going to smell the greatest, but it is what it is. Kind of let it do its thing. Let it cool down a little bit. I always use back my lighter. I don't want to get this stuff stuck to me. Now that it's cooler. Ah, shoot. Not as cool as I thought it was going to be. But this seals it off so it can't go through this orange loop. Okay. So you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, I was paying attention, there's a little flame going on there. Flatten it, make that side as big and round as possible. See how it's bigger than the portion that's going through the black. If you had a solid color, that would not have happened. Like I said, I'm only doing this for demonstration. Seeing two different colors is a lot easier than seeing one solid color. So, I'm going to throw that right on there. That's part for your belt loop. Got my flint. Make sure that's on there. Oh, right, you got your compass here. You got a whistle. Don't work very good, but my dog listens to it. So that counts for something. It's not the only thing my dog listens to. Alright, you got Swiss Army knife, 15 in one tool. Got that one there.
can tell I haven't used this yet. And I'm trying to see what I'm doing. Scissors. These little buggers are in there. Tell you that. Yeah, I should have taken that one out last if possible. Oh, you got the the gist. So there's a side on that one. The basics, the screwdriver, corkscrew. That one drops first. I ain't gonna fight with it no more. So I'm gonna put that on there too. Yes, it is bulky. Got a little bit of weight to it. But, it'll help out. Got a whistle, which I'm not going to blow on because I don't want him going nuts. We'll use these two. Scratch me. Okay, this is the one we made. You see how tight the paracord is compared to my practice piece. See how it's split off in between here. That's because that survival straw is in there. And that's why I went with this one and didn't put the straw on the side this one so that way it looks a lot better with it this way compared to this one hey a tree came out all right oh that was my match one all right, throw a few sinkers in there. Your ball is not under the table, sir. Stop moving my table. Not the sinkers I really want. There we are. Oops, wrong container. I gotta pick that up before he finds that one. Boz. Stop. Definitely good. No. Put four in there for good measures. I like even numbers. I don't know about you, but I do. Where, where did it go? Alright, I have no idea. I was trying to avoid cutting this. But it's not going to work. Oh yeah, I got fat wood in here too. I forgot about that. That wood is hard and pine sap. That's what that looks like. Right. I got that. Let's see if we can get this. In there. there we go. Our fishing line. Push that right down in there. Or, oh, there it is. I'm always losing my shit. Never fails. Hence why I spray painted my tools fluorescent orange. Because I'm always losing them. 
and I'm tired of replacing them. These are waterproof, these little containers. So that comes in handy. What are you doing? I'm going to take this little striker off this box. Oh, that's cute. I didn't know that was like that. I guess I got a mess to clean. Alright. Coat my matches in wax. I felt that a little. all that came from but it came from somewhere other than this thing I don't know how it leaked that explains why there was nothing in it this morning when I got up I'll go ahead and do a few of these. You can use beeswax, you can use nail polish. Either or will work. Fozzy, there's no ball underneath me. Thank you, kind sir. Ah, looks like I need to get another one of these. Oh. put these obviously in this container right oh, I call it we're gonna throw some tinder in there too that fat wood right in there though slip that right on there and you're all set to go So we got fire, food, emergency whistle, tools, I'm going to put that in there, paracord if you need it, and another way to start a fire. Oh, do yourself a favor. You get a clip something like this. Feel free to leave a comment down below and click on one of my other videos. Or did box it. And voila. Might take a strike or two because of the wax on there, but you got it. I'll catch you next time. That is the beast that I was telling you about. And I forgot to put in the striker into our little container. Nope, oh, drop the match too. Well, I got another one started here too. Oh wait, that's the dead one. <laughs> Survival keychain is now complete.